In this video, we'll answer the question, what kind of bird is best? It's a ridiculous question. False. Now, we're specifically covering birds of prey. And by best, essentially what we mean is min-maxed, the most exceptional across key categories, and the raptor that would be the most fun to embody. Oh really, you wish you were me? Well, I wish I were you. This is obviously subjective, but if you follow my armchair reasoning, I think you'll agree. It's really down to just two birds. Well, that's debatable. There are basically two schools of thought. Though a bronze medal would probably go to what's known as the Tiger of the Air, the Great Horned Owl. Despite being the world's fastest owl, Great Horned Owls are capable of silent flight, stealthily snatching prey without a sound. Now, after far too much avian research for a single man in his mid-30s, I've narrowed the top two spots to the Peregrine Falcon and Golden Eagle. Let's keep a running score by category. Let the games begin! The Peregrine Falcon, with a maximum airspeed of 389 kilometers or 242 miles per hour, is the world's fastest animal. The Golden Eagle is second fastest, about 20% slower, yet amazingly weighs four to five times heavier than the Peregrine. The Golden Eagle is significantly larger and stronger when comparing the eight fastest animals, all birds, in the world. Nevertheless, speed kills. Peregrine takes round one. What about flying ability? This is another attribute where I believe the peregrine has a wing up. Smaller birds tend to be more graceful flyers compared to their larger counterparts. Peregrines are highly agile, able to perform precise maneuvers in top speed dives while withstanding up to 25 Gs. Though less nimble and maneuverable than peregrines, golden eagles are considered by many to be the most skilled flyers in the eagle family, and among the best for all raptorial birds. According to the National Audubon Society, Appalachian golden eagles, when migrating, soar in thermals for about 41% of their flight time, glide between thermals 45% of the time, and soar using orographic updraft, just like Andean condors, 13% of the time. You have no idea how high I can fly. Goldens largely subsidize the energetic costs of migration by extracting energy from flowing air. Wildlife biologist Todd Katzner says that their complex, frequently switching flying behavior actually sets them apart from other massive soaring species like condors and vultures. Stop to consider that the golden eagle is both the second fastest animal on the planet and can coast between thermals and updrafts like the Andean condor, which is the world's heaviest flying bird with a wingspan over 280 centimeters. That's nine feet wide. Nonetheless, this round narrowly goes to the peregrine for their tighter handling and control. Before we get to the best part, if you're enjoying this video, please like, subscribe, and ring that bell.
Now we arrive at our critical third category, hunting ability. Peregrines will typically stoop or dive bomb their prey, usually smaller birds, and either snatch them whole or strike with a clenched talon, which either stuns or kills on impact, and then they spin to capture their lunch all in midair. It's incredibly impressive, but they basically have one move, become a missile. Hunting is where the Golden Eagle positively transcends. Like peregrines, they can pick off birds midair. But here's where Goldens have a distinct edge in the discussion. They have at least seven main hunting techniques. While peregrines mostly prey on medium-sized birds like pigeons, ducks, starlings, and doves, Goldens mostly hunt mammals, and more so in North America than in Eurasia. Their largest prey group are leopards, rabbits and hares. Next are squirrels, then birds such as grouse and pheasants. In smaller proportions are mice, rats, snakes, tortoises, lizards, trout, and salmon. Compared to the peregrine, their meals include far more variety, perhaps the most diverse diet of any bird of prey. They'd eat everything, except flambe. Cherries jubilee. Most notably, comprising about 10% of the Golden Eagle diet, their most extraordinary hunts are chasing ungulates, such as bovids, goats, deer, and sheep. Their hunting prowess is figuratively and literally breathtaking, incapacitating animals several times their weight with critical neck strikes or by shrewdly dragging them off elevated cliff ledges. No other bird of prey has recorded kills as heavy as the Golden Eagles. Domestic cattle upwards of 114 kilos, or 250 pounds. That's at least 15 times heavier than a wild Golden Eagle. The equivalent of the average human taking down a hefty adult bison. Goldens defend some of the largest territories of any bird species stretching as far as 200 square kilometers, or 77 square miles. As apex predators, they're fearless, known to attack foxes, wolves, coyotes, and even the occasional airplane. They dominate this round, talons down. When it comes to romance, the male raptors of both species perform elaborate courtship displays acrobatic spirals and dives aim to woo females. Impressively, peregrine tear souls, males, will pass prey to their desired mates in mid-air. But I think the slight edge here again goes to the golden, who performs up to 20 cycles of sky dancing, repeatedly soaring high, then diving at speeds up to 322 kilometers or 200 miles per hour. Tearsouls will also pick up a rock or stick, drop it from great heights, then swoop to catch it. Females do the same with clumps of earth. And both species mate for life, though falcons are notorious heartbreakers. So soon? Why don't you ever stay for breakfast? Damn you, falcon! Eagles by a feather. Both birds are highly respected for falconry, with peregrines being one of the easier raptors to train. Goldens require experienced handlers, as they bring a greater risk of injury to their falconers. Golden eagles take the edge because, in epic fashion, they've been used by nomadic hunters throughout the Eurasian steppe, dating back 6,000 years. This tradition is kept alive today in Mongolia, Xinjiang, and by the huntsmen of the Tian Shan Mountains of Kazakhstan and Kyrgyzstan. If these legendary hunters prefer the Golden Eagle, then we do too. Both of these species lay claim to rich symbolism rooted in mythology. The Golden Eagle seems more prominent in human history, but if you widen the scope to consider falcons versus eagles, it's pretty close. Two tiebreakers. The golden eagle is the most common national bird in the world. Five countries versus only one for the peregrine. And the eagles have won Super Bowl, 
the falcons have zero. Tiny edge to Aquila Crisitos. Our final category includes a few random facts that didn't quite fit anywhere else, or where I was lacking data for one species. First, both raptors can see ultraviolet light, providing advantages such as the ability to spot urine trails from other animals. And both have incredible vision, eagles possessing upwards of 24 eyesight. If you had an eagle's vision from the top of a 10-story building, you could see ants crawling at street level. Mind-blowing. Second, both have staggering grip strength, but I couldn't find measurements for Falco peregrinus. Goldens are likely one of the top three birds worldwide for talon strength, along with harpy eagles and bald eagles at around 500 PSI, or pounds per square inch. That's about 10 times tighter than a human being's hand grip. And third, golden hatchlings sometimes exhibit a behavior known as canism or siblicide, where the older brood attacks and kills their younger sibling in the nest. This savagery over resources, even when plentiful, illustrates the relentless aggression of golden eagles. Peregrines don't do this, by the way, so advantage golden eagles? Do I regret this? No. I believe his tissue has made me stronger. I now have the strength of a grown man and a little baby. Both birds are magnificent, majestic creatures worthy of inspiring awe. In the final analysis, the silver medal goes to the world's fast animal, the peregrine falcon. The gold belongs to, befittingly, the golden eagle. What the hell is that? Those are the doves. Comment below if you disagree, highly valuing the peregrine's top speed and tighter flying ability, or if you have another favorite bird of prey. But give me the well-rounded, maximized package of a golden eagle any day. And if I'm being totally honest, it was kind of over the moment I saw one pulling a mountain goat off a cliff. You had me at hello. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and ring that bell. This topic was a change of pace from my normal content. This will all make sense when we eventually cover their mythological better halves, snakes.